So we saw last time that glaciers actually moved down in the Ice Age, grinding up rock, taking rock with them, making the really good soil that we use to grow crops here in Iowa. Glaciers can reshape the land. Well, as it turns out, rivers can too. You'll notice behind me that the river is actually etching out the rock uh, in the face of the cliff here. This rock's known as uh, limestone or dolomite, and it's a rock that uh, can actually dissolve in water. So it takes it along with the, Missis uh, with the Duck Creek here, and it leaves little overhangs in the rock. So you can see how the bottom part of the rock uh, is being taken out, where the upper part is still there and it overhangs. If enough of this bottom part gets taken out, it will eventually fall and continue to eat away at the cliff. All around this area, the, the land actually goes down towards uh, the creek. The creek is etching out parts of the land. All right, so I'm standing here next to the Mississippi. It is really windy today. And you'll notice that the waves from the Mississippi are kind of coming at me. And I found this cool little shore right here that uh, you can see the waves come up right onto the sand. Now, as those waves come onto the sand, they carry that sand with them uh, down the Mississippi. What's really interesting about today is that the Mississippi is actually flowing towards the right side of your screen. It flows downstream that way, but it looks like the top of the water is coming at me towards the left part of your screen. That's kind of cool. And that's because the wind is really big today and it's blowing just the top part of the water towards me. Where underneath the Mississippi, uh, underneath the top part, it is still flowing downstream. So really depending upon the day, the top part or the, the crests of these waves could be going any direction based on the wind, even though the Mississippi is flowing downstream towards Louisiana. So we can see these waves moving in really big today. They're taking sand and uh, different things that they're depositing on this beach. These waves are large today. If we look a little closer, we can actually see the sand moving. It's creating and etching out even tiny little channels uh, in, the, uh, in the sandbar here. If we look closer at this one little channel, we can see the sand being carried along the Mississippi. This is called erosion. Okay, we've seen what happens at the Mississippi River and on Duck Creek as the current goes by. It can take some of those particles with it. I got a stream table here which will show us this in a much smaller system where it's something we can control. All I gotta do is start the water. As you can see, as the water moves down the table, it's taking some of the sand with it. We call that erosion. It's changing the landscape as the water moves. Once we get to the bottom down here, you can see that the sand is actually being deposited in little areas at the bottom of the, uh, where would, what would be the lake or the ocean or whatever is down there. It actually spreads out and creates kind of a delta at the bottom of the stream table. Rivers, as they move, they actually start to twist. And I want to show you how that works here with the little twisting river that I made in the stream table. You can see as the sand uh, hits this, the river comes in here, it actually moves really fast around the outside. It doesn't move as fast on the inside. So it actually is cutting out of the outside bank here and making this meander, or this turn, a little bit bigger. The same thing's happening uh, as you get downstream. I'm going to put a drop of food coloring in here so you can see how the water is moving. Watch how this red dye moves and where it moves along the water. 
Do you see how it moves on the outside of the curve? It moves on the outside of the curve because that's where the fast moving water is. The fast moving water is taking away or eroding the edge of this curve. And it's actually making this a wider turn. This is how the river meanders back around. It's also happening deeper down here. In the inside corners here, it's actually having a little bit of de deposition, a little bit of uh, depositing. Let's take a look again at the uh, at this. So you can see how it goes on the outside on both turns. That's going to make the river turn more and more and more. And this is why rivers tend to not go in a straight line. They tend to meander or they tend to turn. <laughs> If we look at the bottom of our stream table, it actually hits this and kind of spreads out as we get into the ocean or the uh, lake at the bottom. This is called a delta, and the Mississippi does this down by New Orleans. It meanders down and then it kind of spreads out and makes this delta at the bottom. Also with a lot of deposition at the bottom, uh, this makes uh, you know a wide kind of swampy area, which is what we find uh, near the Gulf of Mexico. and. Uh, next to Louisiana. So we found out a lot about erosion today and how rivers actually reshape the land. On your worksheet, you're going to see that there's a picture of a guy that's got a house that's in some bit of trouble. Can you draw a model that shows why this happened? When I say draw a model, I mean draw a picture with some arrows that shows directions of things and how things are moving and label some things so that you can tell me how it is this person's house is actually about to ready to fall into the river. Do your best, and I will see you next time.